Attic ventilation is a system of intake and exhaust vents installed to allow hot air and moisture to escape the attic for your comfort and safety. It's important to allow air to enter the attic in a continuous, uniform manner along the entire length of the eaves with vents installed at the soffit or fascia. Fresh air entering the attic replaces hot, moist air that vents up and out of the attic through a continuous ridge vent installed along the length of the ridge. Today, we want to show you the steps to follow for proper installation of Roof Saver Ridge Vent as the exhaust part of the attic ventilation system. If you haven't done the calculations to determine the minimum net free area required by the building code, you should review the planning the job file before tackling the installation. The building code requires proper attic ventilation for your health and safety. Proper ventilation depends on ensuring you have enough ventilation and a balanced system of intake and exhaust vents to allow excess heat and moisture to escape from the attic. Roof Saver Ridge Vent requires at least a 312 roof slope and no more than a 2012 slope. Return to this video after you have your ventilation plan. Now that you have a ventilation system plan, we can move ahead with the steps for installing Roof Saver Ridge Vent. For re-roofing jobs, remove the cap shingles and roofing felt from the roof ridge. Prepare for the slot by measuring one inch on each side of the ridge and snapping a chalk line along the length of the ridge. For roofs with a ridge board, measure one and three quarters inches on each side of the ridge and snap the chalk line. Remember to end the slot one foot from the end of the ridge to prevent wind-driven rain from entering the attic. Set the saw depth to cut only through the roof sheathing. Don't cut too deep or you'll cut into the rafters. Now cut the slot along the ridge. Remove the sheathing from the slot and check to make sure the opening in the sheathing will allow air to flow freely out through the ridge. Clear any debris from the ridge to ensure the vent conforms to the roof deck. Each roll of roof saver comes with the nails required for installation and the coil nail version also has two nail gun pads glued to an instruction card. The nail gun pad is designed to prevent the vent from compressing during installation. Remove the airline from the nail gun, peel the protective paper from the adhesive side of the nail gun pad, and place on the nose of the gun. Once it's securely adhered, attach the airline to the nail gun. Remove the roll of roof saver from the carton and place one end at the end of the ridge, assuring that the net side is placed down on the sheathing. Center the vent over the slot and tack it in place with two nails. Unroll the vent along the ridge, pull taut, and center the vent. Tack the end of the vent to the roof with two nails. Place the next roll of roof saver snug up against the end of the first roll and tack the vent in place. Continue until the entire ridge is covered with roof saver. Cut any excess length from the roll with a utility knife or shears. Use 1 and 3 quarter inch coil nails or 2 inch hand nails packaged with the vent for installation. In either case, do not drive the nail head all the way through the shingles. There should be 3 quarters of an inch space between the underside of the cap shingle and the roof deck when roof saver is nailed to the roof. Do not compress the vent by over nailing. Now you're ready to install the cap shingles over the ridge vent. Begin at the end of the ridge and nail the cap shingles in place. The width of the shingle should extend beyond the edge of the vent. Continue nailing the cap shingles until the entire length of the ridge is covered. That completes our overview of the installation process for Roof Saver Ridge Vent. A properly planned and installed attic ventilation system enables excess heat and moisture to escape the attic for your safety and comfort. Roof Saver is the preferred choice as an exhaust vent because of the ease of installation, high net free area, Class A fire rating, and 40 year warranty. Thanks for watching.